This is UD Newman. This is before the video. I'll say hi again once the video starts. Um, sorry I've been putting up videos lately. It's been a bit of a problem with what's happening in the world. But this video is going to be how you paint this dude right here. An ultramarine intercessor. While well, you have fun, make sure you watch the video all the way to the end. Hello everyone, Yugi you know, and back again. Today we're going to do a bit of a different video. I've started getting into Warhammer 40,000. So I'm going to show you how to paint a ultramarine. First of all, I would recommend you getting some of these. This, um, start starting with Warhammer 40,000. And I'll spin it out the way. And the Essentials box. This box is really good. Just the Warhammer Essentials box. I'd recommend that. I'll be using some models from the First Strike box set. The First Strike box set. Which comes with Ultramarines and Death Guard. So if you want something like if you want some more stuff like this, smash that like button, subscribe. It's amazing if you do, it really helps out. I've already done this, but if you want to, get some McCrag blue. With McCrag blue, you want to undercoat. And when I mean undercoat, it's mean you put it all around the model. If you have a spray of McCrag blue from Games Workshop, and I suggest putting it all on him. Okay, here we go. Let's start. Okay, with my crag blue, you just want to do that. I'll say pause and you can pause the video and we can start. The first paint you will need, it depends on what you want to do first, but I like to do some of the rim first on the armor. So I'll get some Balvazar gold. This is what you get in the um, essentials, but I recommend you getting some Retributor armor. This one's more of a bronze. Make sure you shake all your paints. It's really good if you shake all your paints. Let's pop that open. And where you want to paint it, Thin down all your paints, but I don't like to thin down any metallic paints. It's a bit weird to thin down metallic paints. You just want to paint the rims of the armor. And if you can see the, the skull, the flying skull right there, and here. That's what you, that's what you need to paint with Balzar Gold. I'll let you pause the video, and we'll get to the next bit. Once you've done that step, then your Space Marine will have look like this. Next step, you will need to grab your lead belt shot, and you want to get all the metal bits. Some metal bits are on the gun heads here, the casing here. You can choose if you want to do the scope, these little edges right here, these four things right here, last one here, and that's it. If you want to do a bit more advanced, you can go up here on this little spot, and the little, the little air compartment. There's two of them on both sides, so hope you can get that done. With with the silver belt, lead belt, you're done. You want to grab some. A bag in black and do the gun casing and the gun casing is the blue around the gun we just painted so go do that hope you can do it after you've done that if you're having trouble getting around the gold cover a smaller brush and start going around it that should help 
and you basically your armor is done. You just got to do the parody seal. And with the parody seal, you need Mephiston Red. And then you'll need a car flash. Mephiston Red you'll need to use for the seal. Recover Flush will be used for the parchment or this two tags right here. You go and do that. You can pause now and go. And that's your Space Marine done. If you want to go to a few advances, you might want to grab some of Fist and Red and do the eyes. The eyes will make it pop out. And then you're probably saying, if any veterans are watching, what's this on the ground? This is a texture paint. They're called Armageddon Dust. And I put this on before I painted the model. Because when you get the set, you get little plates like this. Here's on without any. And you pop the model in. I did this before you um we put this on. To make it a bit easier. But if you want to do this, you grab some out of the pot. You want to you want to get a big scoop of it with this. It's called a texture tool. Get a scoop out. Put it on the front. You want to scrape it out. When you get near the feet, you want to use the other end and scrape it so it doesn't get too close to the feet. This is one of my first texture paints, so it doesn't look that good. But hopefully, you can do better than me. So I'm gonna go do the eyes, and that'll be it. You can pause now and go. And there you go. A good looking, playable Ultramarine Intercessor. Hope you had a great day. And remember, you have a great day. I'll have a great day. Make sure your minis have a great day as well. Hope you have a fun day. Have, have, have a good time painting.